Welcome to Beyond Protocol Tutorials by Devros. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to get a colony to 160 intelligence in order to design a cargo ship hull with minimal power requirements and a cargo capacity over 30,000. Cargo ships are great for transport management, building space stations, and transporting materials to build colonies on new planets. Alright, one of the things I want you to notice about my colony here right now is the fact that I have built a standard research facility. It's not even upgraded. This is the normal research facility that you first start off with in the game. Now you might ask yourself, why would I build one of those anyway? Well, the answer is simple. I want to get the intelligence of my colony up to a full 160 so I can design a hull at its maximum efficiency level. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to turn off my other two research facilities because those are going to take up my intelligence and I'm going to turn these two facilities on which should keep me at... I'm going to turn this back off because I want to stay at 100% efficiency but as you can see now because I don't have as many job, uh scientist jobs my intelligence is 160 which means all of my uh, researchers here are very intelligent which we're going to need for what we're going to do now what we are going to do is we are going to design a hull for a cargo ship now most people have probably been using the uh, blue corvette hull which does give a nice starting off however this is the best cargo ship in the game. So we're going to go into our hulls here and let's search for uh, transport. Now we're going to boost our size all the way up, give it a hull material, and then what we're going to do is give it some engine space. Now I like to give it about 1300 right off the bat because you don't want to have to redesign this hull later and about 1300 should be enough to uh, support any size engine that you uh, want to put in here and then what we're what we want to do is we want to fill the rest with cargo space now as you can see there's not enough room for crew because we have to have uh, 365 crew in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take off some of this I find uh, taking about four off on the uh, front right and left and three off the back gives you a nice rounded number and it gives you over 30k. You got 31,000 uh, uh, cargo space here. Now what we're going to do is give this a name. And we're going to go ahead and submit this design. Now notice it takes a little while to work, but that's because our uh, production ability is low. But it's the intelligence level that we need. Research complete. In order to give us a hole. And something didn't go right there. As you can see here earlier, I did this exact same procedure and was able to get one with a power consumption of only 102. Why I was not able to recreate that, I am not sure. As you can see, built, trying to design a cargo ship isn't isn't always exactly easy. Somehow I was able to get it right the first time, but research complete. Why it's being a pain in the butt now, I don't know. But this is why we play. Now the whole point of what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying research to get this complete. to have the lowest power requirement I possibly can, while still being able to have a 
decent amount of cargo space available. Okay, this is the uh, design I was finally able to uh, come up with. It's not as low power as I would like. You want to try and get it down to at least 107, but it's going to take me a while to get it. In all honesty, sometimes it even depends on the time of day and when you can get this. It's really not easy. That's why when you do get a good cargo ship uh, hull design, you don't want to lose it. You want to stick with it. Now, as you can see, I was still able to keep it over uh, 30 cargo. I had to dramatically increase the engine compartment size because of the power requirements. And also because of the power requirements, you will notice that I did not put a radar on with cargo ships. Radar is a waste of space. If you put a radar on there, you're going to be sacrificing five to 10,000 cargo space in each hull, which is not nice. You don't want to do that. So we're going to go, go ahead with this design here. And as you can see, I have uh, 2683 space for an engine, and I went ahead and des designed an engine for it as well. I gave it exactly the power requirement that it needs, uh, its thrust requirement, and then I th threw as much uh, speed and maneuver on as possible. Um, once you start to get into the higher speeds, you'll, be, you'll uh, start to need to sacrifice maneuverability, but that's fine. You need speed more than you need maneuver, but you want at least a little bit of maneuver in your, uh, in your hull. So, I've... Uh, got it here at 2473 which gives me some wiggle room so when I get higher speeds and maneuver I should be able to upgrade this and fit it inside this hull without too much of an issue granted I'm going to I would keep on I would normally keep on trying to redesign this hull try and make it better you know I'll use this for the time being until I can get a better design but I was actually able to get my better design beforehand I've got it down to 102 power, which is fantastic and amazing, and this will probably be the hole that I will use for this account forever. I will probably never need to uh, redesign a, another cargo ship hole for my cargo, because this is perfect. This is what you really want to see. Um, like I said, 107 is about where you want to be, but if you can get below that, that is just fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and research these and we will build one. Another note I want to bring up real quick is you only have to design your uh, holes here. You do not have to research them there. That would take forever. You can go back to using your advanced research centers in order to research your holes. Okay, now that we have finished uh, researching our hull and our engine, let's go ahead and put them together. Now I went ahead and used my good hull that I made earlier because I don't want to use the other one because it's worthless by comparison. So, got my cargo ship hull here. Grabbing my cargo engine that I made. Now as you can see here, you have to have crew. I only have 24 right now, so I'm going to bump this up until I have the 365 crew that I need. If you do not do this, pirates will take over your ship and destroy it, which is never fun. Now, another thing you can do if you want, you can also add just a little bit of armor to give it some survivability. But that's up to you. Um, if you're going to be flying around planets, collecting OMP minerals, going through wormholes, then I highly recommend that. But if you're going to be using it for the transport management system, then you don't need any armor on it at all. Alright, well let's go ahead and give this a name and research it. That concludes research this complete. tutorial. In our next one, we will be designing a spaceport that can Research build this cargo initiated. ship design.